Good morning, everyone, and happy Wednesday. Today is Read Aloud Wednesday, and for our Read Aloud book, we are going to be doing The Mitten. And this is adapted and illustrated by Jan Brett. And the front here is what we call the cover. And the title is The Mitten. The author and illustrator is Jan Brett. Since she's not the original author of this story, she did just an adaptation. That's why it says that there. And then this is the back. So we're going to flip on the inside. And one thing I want to point out that's really kind of cool about this book is that if you look on the glove, it actually kind of gives you a hint about what comes next. So keep that in mind while we're reading the story. The glove gives you a hint about what is coming next in the story. So for example, on the um, title page, um, this is the page remember I said that had all the information about the publisher, who published it, where, when, all that fun stuff. The glove um, shows you who, we, who we're gonna meet next, our main character. Once there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as snow. So our main character there is Nicky and he wanted mittens made from wool as white as snow. And if we look at that glove, who do you think is going to make him mittens? Mm. Let's see. At first, his grandmother, Baba, did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. But Nikki wanted snow white mittens, and finally, Baba made them. So let's look at that context clue again. And what do you think it's like outside? Do you think it's snowing and as white as snow? Maybe. After she finished, she said, when you come home, first I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. So off Nikki went, and it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. Uh oh, so was his grandma Baba right? Yes, she was. And I wonder who might find that, that glove. Hmm, what kind of animal is that? It is an animal that hibernates in winter. A mole, tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so he decided to stay. I know that might be a little bit hard, but there you can see. He's crawling out and staying. What animal do you think is going to come next? A snowshoe rabbit, wait, yep, a snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten and he wiggled in feet first. The mole didn't think there was room for both of them, but when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. So now we have a mole, a rabbit. What animal do you think comes next? Next, a hedgehog came snuffling along, having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat. He decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being ones to argue with someone covered with prickles, they made room. So now there's three animals in there. There's the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog. What animal comes next? Let's see if we're right. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl attracted by the commotion swooped down when he decided to move in also. The mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled, 
But when they saw the owl's glinty talons, they quickly let him in. So now we have an owl, a rabbit, or an owl, a hedgehog, a rabbit, a mole, and... Ooh, what kind of animal is that? We don't see many of those, do we? Let's see. Up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was no room left, but when they saw his diggers, they gave him the thumb. So we got the badger, the owl, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the mole. Oh my goodness. I see another animal peeking through there. I wonder where he's going to fit in at. It started snowing, but the animals were snug in the mitten. A waft of warm steam rose in the air and a fox trotting by stopped to investigate. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. The fox poked his muzzle in. When the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth, they gave the fox lots of room. And oh my goodness, I'm looking at my context clue here in this picture. And I see, what is that? That looks like a bear. Do you think a bear can fit into this glove with all of them? I don't think so. Let's see. A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up, not being one to be left out in the cold. He began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be, but what animal would argue with a bear? The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bu bu bulged too many times its size, but Baba's good knitting had held fast. Oh my, what do you see? I see another animal. I wonder what could happen next. Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. She wriggled into the one space left and made herself comfortable on top of the great bear's nose. Hmm. I see our main character, Nikki. And what is that that he's holding? It looks like a glove. Uh oh. The bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. Ah! 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 Achoo! The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered the animals in all directions. Oh my! Kind of crazy, huh? Oh. On his way home, Nikki saw a white shape in the distance. It was his lost mitten, silhouetted against the blue sky. Oh, look at that. They're all clumped over. Oh, and on this page, it shows all the other animals. They got knocked out by the mitten. As he ran to catch his snow white mitten, he saw Baba's face in this window. First, she looked to see if he was safe and sound, and then she saw that he still had his new mittens. Oh, so do you think that made Baba happy or sad that he found and kept his new mittens? I think it made her happy. Let's see if we can squeeze this. I don't like doing that to books, but let's see. The end. But look at her face. Hmm, look how big this mitten got. Oh my. And this one stays the same. She's probably wondering what happened. She's probably curious to see what happened. All right. Well, that's it for this video. I'm going to do um, our next video on our extension activity. The retelling of the mitten. And here's the worksheet. And it says, I can we tell a story? Hmm. So let's do this worksheet together in our next video and see how to make it. I hope you guys all have a great day. And